Thank you, Mr. Vice President. The first resolution that was passed by this Council placed Sri Lanka for the rescue of nearly 300,000 innocent Tamil civilians who were used as a human shield by the LTTE. Though the LTTE terrorists were eliminated in 2009 in the battlefields, those who financed the killings are still at large and are present in this very forum, crying foul against discipline army which carried out a humanitarian operation which the world cannot deny. The report that was the basis for the Geneva Resolution 30-1 had numerous flaws which were pointed out by several member countries, yet it was adopted because Sri Lankan government decided to co-sponsor it. The government betrayed the nation by, to satisfy the pro-LTT extremist elements of Tamil diaspora because of the pressures from the Western powers. The final resolution recommending hybrid courts and constitutional changes was based on this seriously flawed and biased OISL report of the High Commissioner. How can an unauthorized report prepared for the personal knowledge of the Secretary General end up being the foundation for a resolution? The separatists are now trying to achieve what the terrorists could not for three decades. We sincerely hope that this council will not be deceived by the blatant lies said by them. The people of Sri Lanka are waiting patiently for a council's impartial decision. The world is watching. Teruan Saranai, may the noble triple gem bless you. Thank you.